From the Cube Studios in Palo Alto and Boston, connecting with thought leaders all around the world, this is a Cube Conversation. Hi, I'm Stu Miniman, talking to you out of our Boston area studio, and we've been doing a CXO leadership series, uh, talking with leaders across the IT industry about how they are managing during this global pandemic. I'm really happy to welcome back to the program. He's a CUBE alumni. Uh, he was a racker and he is now with Stacker. We'll get into the company in a bit, but Prashant uh, Chandrasankar, the CEO of Stack Overflows, thanks so much for joining. Thank you for having me again, Stu. Really a pleasure and always a fan of uh, the Cube. So great to be here. All right, and uh, we, we note that you're sporting the quarantine uh, you know, beard, uh, you know, grown since the last time we had you on the program. Um, Prashant. You were named CEO of Stack Overflow at the end of 2019. Uh, obviously, uh, certain plans that you have, uh, you're a Harvard Business School alum, uh, you, you've worked uh, you know, in the enterprise and in the cloud communities for a while. Uh, take us back to you know, what your team has been doing uh, really to react and, and lead in this global pandemic. Yeah, no, happy to, Stu. And obviously, this is a very, you know, trying time for, uh, you know, just the world in general, right? So companies, small and large, having to kind of grapple with, uh, you know, the reality. But I would say, in general, uh, I started October first, two thousand nineteen. Uh, you know, at this amazing company, and it's just, uh, just been a real joy uh, to see us really adapt very quickly, based on uh, just, you know, this kind of challenging environment that we're in. Uh, and primarily, if you think about Stack Overflow. Uh, you know, we, we were blessed that our, you know, our company as an ethos, uh, from an ethos perspective, we've been, you know, highly remote in nature uh, for, for years, over for over a decade. So, you know, 80% of our team, product engineering team has been remote, 60% uh, of our marketing team was remote, uh, and then 40% uh, of our company was remote uh, all around the world. So moving from that 40% to 100%, uh, which we did very proactively in March, early March of uh, 2020, uh, has been a huge boon uh, for our company and just our stackers, as you pointed out. And they've just been very, I would say, grateful that uh, we've done that uh, very, very quickly. Uh, secondly, I would say the um, just the notion of you know being able to think about our business and you know our community and how do we help each other. We've done a lot. You know, we meet. Uh, we've you know come together as a team you know three times a week, and we've really had sort of this COVID stand up as a leadership team, as a newly formed leadership team, mind you, which I just uh, we've helped I've helped form over the past uh, six months. And we've all, you know, really gone, uh, you know, really to the extreme to make sure that our stackers are, their health and safety are taken care of. How do we serve our community in this environment? How do we make sure our customers are being, uh, you know, really uh, getting the maximum value of our products, which are all focused on collaboration. So very relevant in this uh, remote uh, world. Uh, so it's really been, I would say, a, all around, uh, people have really rallied. Uh, just, and we had sort of a, I would say, uh, somewhat of an advantage just having, you know, adopted remote work uh, historically. Prashant, uh, maybe it makes sense if we actually step back for a second. Uh, I, I'm sure most people are familiar with Stack Overflow, but give us the kind of the high level view of uh, you know, what the company is and what drew you uh, into the leadership role there. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, you know, I think Stack Overflow, extremely well known, obviously, uh, with every developer and technologist in the world. So in a nutshell, you know, we are the world's most trusted and largest community uh, for developers and technologists, uh, we have something like 120 million unique visitors uh, that come to our websites every month, uh, and something like 180,000 signups uh, on a monthly basis. So just say you know a dramatic amount of impact to help uh, ultimately uh, these folks solve their most complex uh, problems uh, on a kind of variety of topics, whether that is cloud-related topics, security-related topics, full-stack engineering topics like Python or Rust or you name it. Um, all those, uh, you know, those uh, areas are covered in very much in very lot of detail for our community to effectively share uh, solutions to common questions and code and, and really be able to accelerate the development of, of software around the world. So ultimately it comes down to our mission, which our mission, uh, what we like to say is, we help write the script of the future by serving developers and technologists. And so that's our company in a nutshell. On top of that ecosystem of communities that we have built, we have a great set of uh, products, uh, SaaS products that we've also built to help with real-time collaboration uh, within companies uh, in, in a kind of very, very uh, similar format to our public community format. So that's been uh, very compelling. So the two reasons why I joined uh, the company beyond obviously the, the mission, uh, number one is just the global impact. You know, there, there are only a few companies that have 
the level of impact that uh, this company has uh, around the world and helping everybody sort of accelerate their software development uh, or whatever apps they're building. And obviously, we know that we're sort of in this uh, beautiful uh, Goldilocks zone of, um, of digital transformation where everything excel is accelerating, even given the current environment. That's the first uh, reason, just given the vast reach of this company. And then secondly, uh, you know, is the fact that we are uh, really trying to transfer, transform the company and accelerate the transformation into a SaaS company. Uh, so our Stack Overflow for Teams uh, product, which is again, the knowledge sharing uh, SaaS product that we have internally is really a, a really uh, a phenomenal way to share uh, uh, evergreen knowledge and non-ephemeral type information within companies so that your most important questions are answered, they're answered once and you're not you know, constantly having to uh, you know, uh, tap people on the shoulder to answer common questions. So those are the two primary reasons. One is the impact of the community, and secondly, acceleration of our SaaS business. Excellent, Prashanth. Uh, so, wonder if you could help us drill in and understand the business a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. I, there's private repository, there's teams there. Uh, you know, it's interesting, if you look on the outside, you say, wait, is this kind of like a Reddit? Or when I hear you describe it, sure, sure reminds me a little bit of, uh, say, GitHub, who obviously mm -hmm. got taken off the table yeah. for uh, a rather large number. So uh, yeah. I'll let you uh, bring us inside a little bit of, uh, you know, how does the company, you know, make money and what, what are the plans uh, to both, you know, support, uh, you know, those broad communities and, and diverse things, but, but also, you know, build that business. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think, you know, for us, um, you know, we really believe it's a common, our mission statement, like I mentioned, is really our kind of our core driver for us. And so the ecosystem of communities that we have built, for developers as well as technologists. Again, just a, just a very, very vast number. And we create developers, right, on a daily basis through our community. So it's, uh, it's very powerful in that people are learning about new technologies or frameworks or, you know, cloud technologies uh, through our websites. Um, and so they are, you know, that's kind of a, a huge accelerant to uh, just creation of, of uh, jobs and, you know, people's capabilities. On the foundation of that, which is obviously, you know, accessible to everybody and it's, you know, it's free, in fact, uh, we had this ecosystem of products, uh, and the first one in the, in the primary SaaS product is Stack Overflow for Teams, which is this knowledge sharing uh, and collaboration product that allows uh, companies within, uh, or teams within companies, to use the same format that they absolutely love in the public community that they use to you know, learn up on all the subjects that I mentioned, but to now share internal proprietary information to accelerate their development internally, and to break down walls between teams like product and uh, engineering and dev developers and operations and uh, and also go to market teams like product marketing teams and sales teams and so we have you know just a tremendous number of enterprises that have uh, that have joined our program over the past uh, several uh, quarters uh, including Microsoft uh, who is a very happy customer that uses uh, you know they have something like seventy thousand uh, developers and technologists and go to market folks within Microsoft that are using our product platform. Uh, to break down walls and to be able to move very quickly with uh, launching their products and staying collaborative uh, internally. In addition to that, we have uh, what we call our reach and relevance uh, business, which is all around helping just based on the fact that we have such massive reach and 120 million people from around the world uh, showing up our websites, being able to help companies uh, you know, uh, showcase their, their capabilities and products uh, on, on, in our platform and also engage with the community and for obviously the community to then learn about many of the, the latest and greatest of uh, what's being launched by these uh, phenomenal companies that, uh, that are innovating very rapidly too. Yeah, uh, so Prashanth, we, we started off the conversation, you talked a little bit about the, the impact of the global pandemic. Uh, I'm, I'm curious, are you seeing any you know, changes in trends? Are there, are there new things that are trending on your site? Are there uh, things that either on the website or they're coming to your team uh, to, to learn more about? Yeah, no, definitely. I think on the, there are two places I can point to. One would be on the community side, we've definitely seen a spike in, in traffic uh, in places like our Meta Academia website. Uh, you know, as an example, uh, online learning became a huge uh, kind of you know, topic of interest when people went remote. And obviously you have families around the world that are trying to figure out uh, not only how to school their kids, but we have teachers all around in schools trying to figure out what are the best set of resources. So we have, you know, all sorts of, like, like I said, about 40 million questions and answers uh, across all sorts of topics, including, you know, uh, next generation e-learning sort of capabilities in our communities. And so we've seen a spike in traffic in places like that. We've seen a spike in our medical communities and our biology communities 
uh, obviously because of you know uh, people's curiosity and these are you know fairly advanced uh, you know academics and people that are in the scientific community that spend a lot of time thinking about you know the uh, what's really behind COVID nineteen what are the uh, you know the details of you know the when we think about all sorts of topics around genetics and and obviously the pharmaceutical implications. So we've seen a tremendous uptick in those sites. Uh, in addition, of course, overall to our overall websites because people are spending time, uh, you know, just at home. Uh, in addition, we've seen uh, a very material uptick in our Stack Overflow for Teams product, um, where you know we just closed, uh, you know, the you know our company's like largest deal in our company's history this past week uh, for about thirty thousand seats, uh, you know, at a very large financial services institution, a global financial services institution. Because more more and more companies are thinking about business continuity, they're thinking about how do they stay, uh, how do they collaborate across their distributed teams and remote teams, and we have a very, uh, obviously a very uh, significant solution in that space. Excellent, uh, well congratulations on that, that deal. Uh, it brings up, I guess, you know, what, what are some of the key KPIs that you're tracking for uh, to really assure uh, the, the growth and the health of, uh, of your business? Yeah, I think both in terms of, um, you know, if you think about two sides of the coin, right, from a community standpoint, obviously, we care about our, uh, our active users and our engaged users and the number of signups. And on that front, the first part of that, uh, you know, we've seen just a dramatic increase, uh, you know, in all those stats, including, you know, this year, just a result of COVID. Uh, on, on average, last year in 2019, you know, the number of signups per month was something like 150,000 signups per month, unique signups. Uh, from around the world, people signing up for Stack Overflow accounts. Uh, this year, on average, it's gone up, and March was our highest sign-up month uh, ever, with 180,000 signups uh, for the month. So we're seeing. So that's important. In, the, in addition to signups, of course, when they come onto our websites, we want them to uh, get the answers to their most pressing questions, to be able to engage them with uh, with content that's useful to them. So engagement, uh, you know, in terms of monthly engaged users, very important. Monthly active users, very important for us. And obviously, our uh, sign-up numbers. So those are the kind of the community-oriented uh, stats that we and KPIs that we really track, uh, and those look, uh, you know, uh, very promising. And then finally, on the business side, which is the other side of the coin, uh, in our teams business primarily and our reach and relevance business, uh, teams business, it's all about our customers getting value from the collaboration SaaS platform that we have uh, that they've signed up for, right? So are they using uh, the various features? Uh, you know, we've integrated that teams product with all the other popular tools uh, that people use for things like real-time collaborations. So we integrate with Slack, we integrate with Microsoft Teams, uh, we've integrated uh, you know, with, uh, with Okta, we've integrated even with GitHub Enterprise, because really the idea is to be part of that developer and technologist workflow, so folks can really uh, look to Stack Overflow for Teams as the place where they get common answers, uh, get great answers to their common questions that, uh, that are constantly being asked within companies, but uh, you know, it's not very effective to ask the same questions again and again. So the idea is to integrate with these tools to make sure that you're able to have an evergreen place where you can keep that knowledge. Um, and so that's, you know, we track usage of those integrations. We, we talk about how many questions and answers are being, you know, exchanged within companies and how much ultimately the outcome of saving time and money for our clients uh, so that they are being very effective in their product development cycles and people are not being tapped on the shoulder for every single item that might come across for an individual company. So that's really, there's an economic study that we performed with Forrester that captures a lot of this. So that's, uh, you know, that's, and then region relevance is all around engagement on our websites. Are people really looking and seeing, finding value in the, uh, in the content that our companies are posting and for those companies to be able to be effectively uh, translating that knowledge to the audience. Awesome. Well, Prashant, uh, congratulations on, on the progress and uh, definitely look forward to tracking uh, the, how, how the Stack Overflow team's doing going forward. Thanks so much, Stu. Really appreciate uh, the chat and great to see you again, as usual. All right. Be sure to check out thecube.net for all the coverage. I'm Stu Miniman. Thank you for watching.